for me, I've been so lucky to have made good friends with, uh, with composers. What I realized some years ago is that by knowing some composers so intimately that I can play their music when I first see it and when I go on stage, it's the closest that I can imagine of playing my own music. I have this feeling that whatever comes to my mind is probably going to be acceptable to the composer because it comes from such a long experience of that music and personality. And if I have this feeling, I can then transfer that feeling to when I play Beethoven. And imagine in, in my grandiose way that I'm Beethoven's friend. We also spoke earlier that all musicians don't like a certain kind of notation. Because what you said, all musicians have their own bow speed and have yeah. their own way of using color. And, and, and they don't like to be told yes, how some, to use some their don't bow. Like, yes, yes. <laughs> You have surely a, a thousand ways of uh, playing these these uh, three systems there, but but for me there are two basic ways which I don't want to prioritize at all. You can either play it a little bit like Mira, you played. You played it very very static. But if you, well, when you play it like that, you have to start from the very beginning and show that this is a section. That actually this measure already tells us that this is a long section. Because if you just start playing in a slow tempo and even things, by the third time, people are going to start looking at their, their watches because you haven't given them a direction that we are going along that don't worry. We are getting somewhere. So, uh, but there's also another way which I find is it's a question of personality. It's even a question of mood. Sometimes I play them. This, in fact is more, probably more within the logic of the papillon thing, because now you have the big butterfly and a little bit of wind there, which keeps being blown off course every now and then, and, but, but which just still starts, uh, still go, goes on. It's about 50, uh, 50 the, when, uh, how I decide, and I never know when I start. It's, it's something that I like to leave to the, uh, to the last, last moment. But, but for me, there's no middle, middle ground. It has to be either or, and you have to you have to st you have to stick to it. You have to really tell that this is a passage that's going to take some time. That that we need to get from from here across the what it whatever it is to the other side. It can be that somebody really plays in such a way mm -hmm. that it's so integral part of uh, his or her playing or. I don't know. Yeah, I may be an anarchist in that sense, but I, I would say that that if, if you play something like that, mm. then you are actually telling your story when you play mm. An, mm. anything at all. Mm. 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 And you're not telling the story of each composer. Mm. Mm. I would not fight what the instrument tries to do which is that when you have a, this kind of a trill, it wants to make the bow jump. Whether she planned it that way or not, I don't know, but it's, it's what the instrument tries to do. Uh, so if, if you try to fi fight... If you try to fight it, okay, you are actually making it sound like, like something is not working. You must not be doing something right. Uh, whereas if you let it uh, just happen the way it happens, um, it sounds like you you must have played something fantastically well. Be influenced by the by the in what the instrument does. As we are when we play with gut strings or old music, we have to react to what 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 the cello wants to do, not not what you thought you had to do. Anyway, and pl but plus this provides a bridge to the next movement, which is really the most most magical of them all, and the, the most crucial moment I find from the performer's point of view 
in in this piece is not to lose the audience at at this double bar that you have to create an atmosphere where you That's the moment when you, you have to, with the way you behave, you have to tell the audience that, no, I'm not letting you go. I think that, uh, that we have to add our personality to a piece of music, be it Bach, be it Xaria, or be it uh, whatever. But in fact, I think that it's our personality is something that I can never play one note without my personality being in that, that note. Therefore, the more I try to take it away, the more it gets in. The more I try to put my personality into something, the more I'm getting in the way of the music.